Oh, abbiamo Judy. <ride> Judy eh, di Dada. Ok. Hi Judy. Judy. Hi Barbara. I was having trouble oh. finding the right link. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. And, uh, um, I'm, I'm sorry I'm late also. Well, uh, the the thing is that I'm talking with Francesca, that is my friend, uh, then the, uh, <laughs> and um, she is the founder of uh, Cosmia. She's uh, a, a publishing house uh, that we are building now. So in the end, we are just talking about our project because uh, without people, I, I felt like I cannot do a presentation with no, no person. Of so no, I wanted, I wanted to see it because, as you know, I'm also tokenizing a book. So for me, it's super interesting to, to like you also asked me. So I think it's yeah. good for us to share information. Uh, for me, it's also super interesting to see how you're doing it, where you're doing it, what you're doing. So. If you consider me people, I would love to know. Yeah, yes, but we can just talk and don't yeah. go for uh, no. and um, like I cannot tell you about the uh, uh, Scar Kisses project because it's not worth. We can just go directly to the publishing house ideas. That's the point. We just talk like yeah. in Dada. I mean, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. We were just uh, pointing to um to a, a topic that uh, come out this morning uh, that is uh, how to uh, give people an experience uh, so they feel like they want to be uh, uh, co-involved uh, involved. Yeah, yeah, involved. 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 Yeah. involved yeah because mm -hmm. uh, It, there is no no more time of do a website and uh, just put their information so this was mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. a little bit the idea uh, because uh, in the Cosmia project there is this uh, uh, narrandum that means uh, that the narrative is uh, never ending in a way I mean that mm -hmm. you can continue uh, like in data conversation Right. Oh, that's wonderful. So, where where are you thinking of what platform are you using for this? For now, I'm thinking for the crypto part uh, uh, about uh, near uh, Mintbase. Mintbase, yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I just follow. I'm following uh, the project. Uh, they just they building a lot. Uh, they're mm -hmm. improving. Uh, um, so I, it's I, easy. It, it seems pretty easy to mint, and it's not expensive. Uh, and you you can do, for instance, in my case, I, I don't know how you're you're organized, but I'm the writer, but the book is being published by a uh, publishing house. So in my case. Uh, you, we can set the royalties for me and like whatever goes to the book editor and that is direct um, you know the moment the NFT is sold it gets split uh, the one time split and then if for some reason somebody decides it's a collector item and there's a secondary market then I uh, we can also decide the royalty share so and, and you know it's funny because I signed a paper contract before we thought of of the NFTs and the paper contract said that he was every three months, he was going to send me a list of all the books that had been sold. And then he was going to send me a check. And with the NFTs, that doesn't need to happen. It, you know, it goes to his address. It goes to my address yeah. and the problem is solved. Right. So, I mean, I'm sorry that I interrupted uh, your conversation, but now I'm curious, like, Are, are you intending to publish more than like a series of books? There's also they're also going to be physical or just NFT format. So uh, we are starting from you say scratch from nothing, <laughs> you can say. Right. So mm -hmm. it's all to be built uh, in the. Um, While uh, Francesca is writing uh, uh, the statue of the um, of the Cosmia yeah. as an association, we want to build like an association because uh, 
we're not going to go through publishing houses already done maybe we just uh, use the services of uh, printing but mm -hmm. this is something that the, still we have to figure out uh, we have uh, also an um, Italian association that uh, help uh, the uh, how do you say to build the uh, business uh, in fe in feminine uh, woman mm -hmm. building mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. so for women. Mm -hmm. so um, for this uh, we have uh, support but still uh, we are building so uh, mm -hmm. in um, in this case probably will be more fast the crypto part so yeah. in uh, in the beginning we keep the crypto part as an experiment so we can do it and then let's say once in a year we resume we go through everything and we decide uh, how to link this back to the um, publishing house in real life the physical one mm -hmm. so probably we are going the opposite <laughs> because we are we have no you know yeah. it's interesting because my, my publisher comes from like a, a you know he used to work at a big, big publishing house but now he wants to have his own small publishing house and he is very experienced with digital versions and when I told him uh, about the NFTs, originally our, the idea was that we would print the paper book, but his business model is on demand. So he only prints the books that people want. So it has it's some sort of model that is, I didn't know this existed, but in every country you can, you know, if two people in Italy want it, there, you know, he sends an order, so two books are printed and the people get it. And so it's no waste of resources and also the, the problems of like, um, you know, the uh, stocking of the book, you know, like the um, inventory, that kind of stuff, you know, warehousing. But then when we were talking about it, he got so excited about the NFT that he said to me, you know what, we'll do, let's, let's publish the NFT first. Let's do the, you know, the digital NFT edition, which is going to be very special. It's going to have an animated cover by Mox. Um, and, uh, you know, I don't know what else we're going to put in there. And, the, and that gives you the right, if you buy the NFT, then you, if you want a paper copy, you can have a paper copy. If you don't want it, you don't get it. But and then he's going to come out with a you know with the paper thing. So like you, uh, because publishing is as an NFT probably uh, uh, number one. I mean, not for him it's not easier because he's new to this and you know like although he catches up pretty fast, but it is kind of quicker in a way, and it's also you know, there's, you already kind of have a community, right, in this world that, that if you launch the project, uh, uh, people are going to see it, whatever, whereas if you were, I don't know if that's the case with you, but if you go the traditional route where you're trying to get publishers to do it and they don't want it because they're the gatekeepers or, or then you have to go through this very complicated contract and you know, so, so, and then like how many, I mean, whereas this is like, you, you could put a PDF in there if you wanted, you know, like one of the things that we're, we wanted to do an audio book, but the problem with MinPace is that it doesn't, you know, it doesn't accept a uh, very uh, like uh, heavy files, right? So the audio book would be uh, very, like very heavy, but, um, but like, so, you know, we're going to have a digital file, but we don't want it to be an NFT. We want it to be something more special. So that's why I was wondering about how, like, how is your book going to look like? How, how are you, how are you presenting it? Is it just images or is it images and text? And what format are you using and all of that? 
Yeah, these are really detailed that we are going to define, but mm -hmm. uh, th this problem that you're talking about, about first uh, the on-demand things uh, is what uh, we we think is the best in a way because mm -hmm. if not if it's not needed, uh, it's not good to uh, put much stuff. <laughs> Oh, she doesn't want it. <laughs> but I just want, sorry to interrupt, but I saw no, you, no. girl. I thought she would enjoy this. Okay, enough. Un bacino, Gea. Un bacino, un bacinito, un bacinino. <laughs> okay, sorry. No, it's so, okay, but the on demand is good uh, because of if it's not needed uh, for sure. We have to decide all details, but if it's not needed, maybe it's good to don't. Uh, waste paper and whatever <laughs> but uh, for the files and uh, everything else uh, is something that you are, we want to experience in a way uh, because uh, uh, in uh, mint base they're going to uh, to create uh, the um, how you say it? the they're going to expand the file size but we don't know when so this no, is the no, problem no. because uh, mm -hmm. you, you cannot really plan it uh, but probably uh, to find a way through this uh, it means involve something creative and probably as an FT you can do uh, audio book chapters I mean yes yes yeah, you, one, one boy yeah. the, the first one likes and want to go through the other one i mean it, i think is we can really be creative also to uh while we are waiting <laughs> that the platform yeah. is improved because uh, it's not wasted i mean just something uh, uh experimental also no sure but, uh, so the book can you tell me a little bit about it what is it what's the content Okay, I, I talk a little bit of mine and then maybe ask uh, Francesca to I explain because, because uh, she wrote one completely oh, different. Great. And then we we, we got, it was like two rivers and then we flow. Yeah, because we had this <laughs> idea that was really in the same direction, no? So it's okay. For me, I started from uh, this uh, Scar Kisses project it is a project where people tell me their story of scars and then I take this written story and uh, uh, we do like alchemy, I mean, and the words are left beside and there is only the image and no word uh, is written. I give the title, but beside this, there is nothing else. And this because I want to focus uh, on a different experience that was not verbal. So, uh, but then after uh, somehow something called me to uh, people also uh, asked me the story. They want to read the story. They want to know the story. So I said, okay, it's possible, but the story is changed. So for now, uh, my first step uh, was. Uh, ask to everybody that uh, participate to rewrite the story if they want or um, give me the permission to uh, show the picture to other people that want to write the story so it was like a little bit of a uh, passage no mm -hmm. um, and Francesca participate also and the answer are really different there are people curious, people interested, uh, people that they would like, but they don't want to write. I mean, the, the experience now is to try to figure out how to handle with all the different uh, answer. But uh, the thing is that uh, if we open this to um, contributors as artists in that can do I don't know, video, music, writing, whatever, then it expands the possibility. Um, for me, it, it is most like uh, to set a milestone 
because uh, it is a project uh, that did his first, uh, let me say, first life, I mean, first part of the life, and then can change. So for me, the book is this, but it's also personal. So just, I, I don't want to uh, go and do whatever I want because uh, I, I feel like I had to take care of this story. Uh, I did all in um, in a way that um, I'm not, uh, uh, how do you say, um, uh, I, I'm not saying do this, do that, uh, whatever, no. Yeah. It's like sort of collaboration in a way, even if I'm leading somehow the thing, mm -hmm. uh, uh, is it still a conversation, a collaboration? Uh, is something that I don't want to, I don't know, imp impose? Is it right in English? Yeah. Yes, impose. To impose. Mm -hmm. So that's why. Uh, <laughs> cool. This is for my book. <laughs> yes. Uh, so for you, because I know that you have been working on that project for a long time. So this is, as you say, like a next stage or a next phase, some sort of like. Uh, I don't know if it's um yeah like you said a milestone uh, where you you finished one like part of it no like or one yeah I feel like uh, this uh, is a sort of um, com com completion in in a way uh, with mm -hmm. this. Uh, um, because uh, it's like a mechanism. Mm -hmm. But the mechanism uh, need to be improved and then goes better. And then maybe uh, now is time that I want to think about. Maybe I leave a little bit of this. I put a little bit of that. Uh, so it's like uh, this. It's, it's not going to change too much. But, mm -hmm. but I think it's like a first uh, phase. Cool. <laughs> And Francesca, she writes. <laughs> Francesca, if it's better in Italian, I can try to understand a little bit. If you, if you speak. my English is very rusted, but I can try. <laughs> okay. I spoke in English. I used to read and watch TV and movies, but yes, to spoke is another thing. Um, well, I wrote a novel uh, and. I, at first I thought about um, publishing it with a classical publishing house and it's a hard process as you said before. So in the, in the same time I was thinking well I can publish it myself with uh, this publishing demand uh, but I wasn't satisfied when, about the idea. Um so in, I started to think about to uh, have my publishing house. Why not? I love books, I love reading. Reading is um, a big part of my life. My, um, my grandfather was a writer um, who wrote um, more than 200 of books. Um, so um, I decided that this is the moment that I take my life in this direction. And um, in the same time, it, um, I thought that some part of my novel, I would like to give it to other people to, um, to tell something more about my story um, with images or a video or a music or, or writing, but um, I had the feeling that there was um, more story to be told, but not by me. Um, and this is the start of um, this um, project, the idea of Cosmia and the never-ending uh, narration. And it goes uh, very well with uh, Barbara's project. So <laughs> we were already friends. And now oh, we are um, we are trying to build it in reality. In <laughs> oh wow, it's really interesting. It's true, where Barbara, what you say that it's a little bit like Dada in that sense, where you can continue. And I really love the the idea uh, of 
I don't feel that way about my book, but I, but not about this book in particular, but maybe another time I, I would feel like maybe other voices can be part of, of it, that it's not just me. But I really like the the idea of allowing other people to to continue telling the story. That is really fantastic. And and then I think the NFT or, you know, now that everything can be digital, it makes sense that somebody could add a video or an animation or some music or a poem or, you know, words. Um, so that is great. Oh, there's Serste. I'm sorry to be the the English the one who is ruining your beautiful Italian session. Uh, <laughs> no, it it was meant to be in English. So, <laughs> I know. but if you guys want to speak in Italian, I, I I think I can follow it as long as you don't talk very fast. Hi, Serste. Hi. Uh, so, but though that is super interesting. So, so what I understand is that you at this point don't. You know, you are really at the very, very beginning of this. You're not, I mean, in terms of like the uh, whole exactly. uh, figuring out the NFT. I want spaghetti from Italy. I want <laughs> what kind of spaghetti with what? I need to know immediately. <laughs> Porcini, tomato, what? Tell me. Um, she will. She will let us know. And so. Um, so yes, because like it's so new that like my oh how nice oh my god <laughs> so maybe cool. your tomato grown in the fact in the oh farm. my god yes, I, I know I, I love it. so anyway um it, we are also trying to figure out how to do it uh because it's you know the interesting thing about NFTs and I. I don't understand this very well, me. Like, let's say we put it in main base and there's going to be an, a, a cover that is like the cover art and then there's going to be the digital version of the book. How, you know, like, he, my, my editor doesn't want to do it on PDF, which I completely understand because it needs something a little bit more special. But pretty much it means that anyone can download it, right? They, they may be able to access it. We don't want to put a, a, an unlockable. We don't want, he doesn't want to do that. We could do that. It's like the material gets unlocked when you buy, but we don't want to do that. And I think it's kind of like the right thing. But that also means that if I understand this correctly, anyone can, just like anyone can download the cover art and of course, it doesn't mean that they can sell it, but they can have it. The same happens with the book. Anyone can download the the digital version of the book without paying for it. And I don't have a, a problem with this because for me, this book is not about the money at all because I was so lucky that somebody wanted to publish it that you know, I was like, I'll do whatever. You know, like, it, 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 it's, it's not about that. It's really about getting as many people to read it as possible. And so... But then trying to figure like the format in which, uh, um, for instance, because my editor has experience in the publishing world and digital, he's thinking, okay, so let's say we put in mint base and you can, you that's where you buy the NFT, you, you get the cover and you get all the, you know, the token, the certificate that of, you know, everything, you know. Uh, but then there's like, a link to a, 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 a website where, because for instance, those people who want to to get the paper book, you can't do that on Mintbase. You can't put your your like it's not a it's not a back and forth, right? So you need you need a place where they can put their email so the book can be sent to them or like they can put their address on the book, and then you have to then you have to. Uh, you know, like proof that they bought the NFT somehow for the for the paper book, but also in that in that web page, let's say you can really display. You know, it could be that's where people can read the book. That's where people maybe can download it to their phone. I'm, I I don't know. I don't really understand all the technicalities. Or that's where people can also you know I don't know be you know get on the 
uh, on the list to to have the paper book and where other things can happen just because mint base basically it's like all the other marketplaces it gives you like a nice space to put the visual whatever or the the file but there's no real experience like there there's no more involved experience from from that so I'm gonna talk to him shortly, like in a, in about uh, half an hour or more. I don't know, like uh, uh, soon. And and uh, I want to try to understand a little bit more how how that works. But in your case, I mean, ha, have you thought about it in any way? Like, how would it live? Where would it live? All of that. Or the, the books like yours and or yours, uh, Francesca. Yes, um, maybe Barbara um, has a clearer view about NFT. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm... I I was just ready to answer. Well, first uh, is that we still um, don't have this. Uh, um, this problem because uh, we are not uh, we are not we were we didn't try it i mean for me uh, the proposal i did in create base uh, uh, it was more like uh, publish uh, each uh, uh, new story with the nft and uh, keep the whole book apart it's not in the same uh, download part so it's, it's more like building uh, uh, and finding solution uh, step by step because we don't have the publishing house so we are not sure uh, of what uh, is given by the people that can help us for with the mm -hmm. physical book because let's say mm -hmm. that maybe we don't need to do uh, for example a website if this um, uh, provider let's say of uh, printing maybe has a site uh, and we just need to send the link i mean oh yeah yeah technically I mean... technically can be really uh, uh so, so much difficult and so much easy i think yes. that there are so many uh, possibilities that we really need still to think because we don't have the the actors now we don't know exactly our partners still. Maybe it's mm -hmm. interesting that uh, your um, publisher uh, think about because uh, he can think about his best strategy for uh, what he has. So it's nice. But one thing that we can really keep in mind that was the topic we were discussing is how to give the experience. Because, I mean... Mm -hmm. Maybe technically it's not so bad, even if you have to do two or three click, we can solve. And maybe we can also ask Mintbase if they are going to build something for us, because there are a lot of developers that I think uh, there are a lot of uh, um, projects now, and then really couldn't see them because I'm really busy at the moment, but uh, I think they are developing a lot of uh, tools that can help everybody. Mm -hmm. And probably uh, one person that is really involved now is uh, Van Digital. He is doing it for music, but I think this can be really interesting also for us. And also I, I get in touch uh, with a guy that uh, is uh, connected with Arroz Studio in Portugal. I don't remember the name because he has like uh, some strange letters in the name in Discord, but uh, for sure um, he's working with uh, people in uh, CreateBase, MintBase uh, to build uh, about uh, and, uh, solutions also there. They're thinking about solutions. So I, I don't have the solution, but I mean no, no, but I also was thinking that really like I don't I understand because I also could have self-published my novel and I didn't want to do it at the before NFTs because there's something there's something I don't know. It's obviously I better if if a publisher thinks that your novel is worthy of publication. But now with this NFT kind of stuff or whatever, you could be your own publishing house. You could decide who you can publish. 
you could do the NFT part because it doesn't really require all that much. And in terms of maybe printing, you know, books, there are there are platforms. The only problem is they may be a little bit expensive, but there are. The, I I I made a, a book for, as a gift, and it's a book. It's really not really a book, but maybe it's like ten pages uh, of a to a guy who who had a dog and, and 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 he was very much in love with this very old dog and the dog was going to die and we all knew that it was going to be horrible when the dog died. And so I made him a book of pictures of his dog, which was a German shepherd and was friends with Petra and Petra and the dog. I, I don't remember her name. Tara, Tara. Tara was the name of the dog. So I made him a little book of of a, of a memento of Tara, of, of pictures of him with her, and of Petra with her, and the dogs, blah, blah, blah. And he, he really couldn't, I mean, he was, and I did it with the, oh, this platform called Blurb, B-L-U-R-B. And so they give you the template, and it's super easy to use, and you can print one, or you can print a bunch of them. And I don't know if it has gotten any cheaper because the problem was that it was a little bit expensive. But I think the more you print, the less expensive it is. And they're also, I mean, really like for I'm talking about paper uh, and it's nicely done. And there's also like I have friends who print like who have everything printed in China because China has really, really good print print places where where uh, it's it's cheap. But they, you know, like you have to find out because some may be terrible, but some of them are really high quality and it's not. So in the end, uh, if you want to like what Fr Francesca was saying, like I want to, I love books and I want to publish books and I want to publish my books and other people's books, then you could actually, I mean, it's a lot of work, obviously, and it does take some resources. But but I think at this point, uh you could create this publishing house and 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 it's a you can do it yourself uh but of course then uh it's a it, you know it's just enormous amounts of work <laughs> but but uh but the, the, if you're experimental then it's good because you can try you know you can try different things what i i feel that that because the nft thing allows it allows these things to have like kind of a, a a more dimension you know like originally the book my book was going to be printed on paper and a digital edition like for people who use kindle or readers or whatever i don't i don't ever read books digitally uh, um, but some people do and that was it and so yeah that's it and you and then you promote it and you promote the and it's like but the nft thing somehow is like a nice little package right where you can you people get some extra extra meaning extra love and care and it's direct which is a, a very different experience and yeah you can go and buy it at the bookstore or you can order it but this thing of like being in direct contact with the with the creators it's a very different experience. So, so it's about making that. And you also, I don't think you have to like give an arm and a leg. You know, if if your art is already beautiful and the text is already beautiful or whatever it is, it's not that you know, have to add all these other like extras. But there's something about being able to add some music or or do package it in some way that that. People, you know how people are are fond of collecting things that are meaningful to them. Then that's that's why this NFT thing, for instance, for me to being able to ask Mox to do the cover is the greatest thing because my editor had already for the paper book he already had hired someone who did a pretty nice job, and you know like it, it's his editor. It's his publishing house. I, I you know, I, I, I told Mark, him. Mox is Mox. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I told him. I told him. You know, I know a lot of wonderful artists, but he had already, you know. So I understand that. But then for the NFT, he, I, he didn't even have to say. He, he said to me, you know, th that's your world. You pick someone, and and 
I thought, oh, I mean, Mox was perfect because he's also from Mexico. I mean, he's not originally from Mexico City, but he lives in Mexico City. The book is about Mexico City. And I think also his style, my my novel is almost in a way la like his style, but in words. Not quite, but we share. We share a sensibility. So, so for me, to be able to have that, it's, I think it's something that you can much easily do on NFTs that with a publishing house would be impossible to do, you know. Yeah, in a way, in this moment uh, is also, I think that people are really trying to find a, a bridge anyway, because uh, you remember also Sabnam a lot of time trying to, to talk about this. I think she's really interesting, um, interested uh, also on this topic. But uh, I think uh, it's everything really highly personalizable also, the experience. Mm -hmm. yes. I have two things in my mind where you were talking. One was like, you know, Netflix now. I mean, I go there, they want to show me something and they insist a lot. But what they do for with for this insisting is that they change the image of the I scene. know. So I, know. I because I quite I, I want to be aware of this. So I noticed this. But also I realize how I fall into this because I It's never I wanted to 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 see that film with this title of with this this describe the description I think mm -hmm. is awful. But then they put this image to say, okay, this is an image, an image of the right, film. Right. I need to it's see it. They know what you you know. I'll tell you a funny story about Netflix. When it when I started Netflix many many years ago, when it started, I was like. Everybody should get this. I mean, it was long before the pandemic. I was like, oh, my God, you know, the movies, it was better than Blockbuster. But for some reason, all the recommendations were of Bollywood movies, of like <laughs> Indian movies. And I figured that they saw my name and they thought, the algorithm thought, this person is from India. So every single thing they would show me was a Bollywood movie. And like, I don't care. I mean, some Bollywood movies are very fun, but, you know, I write about movies. I wanted to see more stuff. And so the algorithm, it's AI, you know, that it learns from what you choose to see and it makes assumptions, but you can also, and, and it's amazing how they have several different posters for the same movie. And when they see that you don't click, they insist, 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 insist. You see that you don't click in one of those, then they change the image to see if that's, it's crazy. I hate that. But, but, uh, so what were you thinking about it? No, uh, I mean, what I, is I, I did this, uh, I did this, uh, because, uh, my friend suggested me for Netflix to feed the, the algorithm. So I went through all the things that I could remember that I like, I searched mm -hmm. and just put like, and then it starts yeah. going better. But okay, stop with Netflix. This was just about uh, the thing that uh, um, is uh, the experience is different. So we are mm -hmm. uh, like attracted from different things, uh, maybe words, maybe images, maybe mm -hmm. colors. So that was mm -hmm. just a thought about this. And second, mm -hmm. about the experience, I was thinking about the, I I'm. Fix it with crypto voxel. I think one time I will have a parcel, but I still don't have. So anyway, but I continue to think about what I would do with a parcel. And now when you were talking, it uh, reminds me uh, about uh, uh, the pizza uh, shop they made. And I thought, yes. why not? Mm -hmm. a, not a website, but maybe we can do the publishing experience so to go into the library with our books the publishing house so maybe uh, i mean i don't know Cersei said something about and she's the the best uh, builder <laughs> that we have <laughs> but uh, an idea can be this because uh, you can really have the experience <laughs> 
<laughs> Sexy silver too much. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. Like I wrote it a long time ago and I didn't remember. And when I read it again, when I sent it to the publisher, I didn't remember that. I mean, it's a love story, so there's sex in it, and you know, but I didn't remember like it really has a lot of sex. And I was like, what was I thinking? <laughs> we can put a disclaimer. No, yeah. no this. Fuck them. But but yeah, uh, no, but it's a disclaimer, but for sure we we we, we do to. a parcel in crypto voxel uh with the disclaimer there is a lot of sex in it. I'm sure that many people we have everyone, to yeah, see yeah, what's but, happening. But, but, but like now that I think about it, and because the, a lot of the, this love affair is kind of forbidden, so it, it happens in this really like cheap hotel in many times so you could obviously in crypto boxes you have a little door where all the sex happens and if you don't want to see the sex you just don't go through the door <laughs> so you know i'm that's i mean if i tell my editor about it he's gonna flip that would be so much fun yeah wonderful <laughs> So, but also that's the other thing about crypto voxels is for your project. I mean, again, we're talking about the digital realm where there really are so many possibilities, right? Um, uh, well, so, what is interesting is really that it changes again, like in art, it changes the nature of the ownership and the relationship with the with the material changes. So. Uh, just like artists don't really mind at this point, like if I, I make a screenshot of your art, uh, I'm never going to sell it. it. It's just that, that I love it or I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm never going to use it in a way that would, would be bad for you. But artists are used to it. But I think that people in who write books you know, are thinking, wow, I spent, I don't know, like, you know, like my my editor put it really well. He said to me, what do you prefer? Do you prefer to make more money or do you prefer more people to read the book? And I thought, well, I prefer more people to read the book, obviously. Uh, so it's, it's just a, a different way, but I think he understands it better than I do. And then it's just, a, for me, the, the, the mystery is how how things work together right how how things because we're talking about a nice experience i think the flow of mint based when getting an nft i haven't bought anything but i have minted and it's very easy and it's very it's delightful it's really easy to do nice but then the flow of the experience of the content is what is like how do you you know like the other i went i i bought i bought a new computer and i went to apple and in Apple, they design everything, the way you open the package. They actually know, ex I mean, they do all this testing so that the opening of the package is a delight. And then you take it out of the box and then you open the box and then you click. And it, that is the thing that they design the most, actually. And it's that experience, what they call the un unboxing, right? I think in, in the NFT, it's a little bit like that. Not so much. It's 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 what is the what is this relationship that people are going to have with the material, right? Um, and I think with art, it's a matter of display in 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 many ways. And display, and maybe people really or like to know origin story. They they like to have a little narrative. In the case of a, of books, I guess it is also display and delight of use, but I, I don't know what else. Yeah, yeah, this is a good question because uh, for visual, there is uh, much thing. I mean, th people are thinking a lot uh, for reading is uh, still a little bit difficult. Uh, for example, I now I love so much uh, this uh, ACK MD. I don't know why, but the experience I have uh, in writing and reading now with this is like. Uh, Wait, what? What is it? Is this uh, software, uh, free software? Uh, not even a software. I mean, you just uh, open on the browser and uh, is uh, the name is uh, this uh, I write. Mm -hmm. 
because I think it's a uh, uh, open source. Oh, I did wrong. The caps. Oh, okay. the, the caps are in, in the end, but anyway. Okay. <laughs> uh, the other one. Okay. And I was thinking about this because uh, it's so simple and you can read things uh, almost like in a book. There are really nothing around you. It's like uh, the page of a book almost, but it's still reading on a screen. So the the question for me was also, uh, we, we should do a file, com a compatible file that people can easily read everywhere. So, but I don't want to sell a ki Kindle, how is the name Kindle? Or something like that. I mean, mm, I'm. We need to check what's the good format. But um, somebody told me that this uh, uh, AMD is so plain HTML that can be uh, converted in whatever. So, yeah, it's called the, uh, the thing is called Markdown that when Steam ah, yeah. it you use it. Yeah. So it's a kind of like a publishing thing that uh, it's kind of very similar also to what is the name of that uh, WordPress kind of thing, where it's very easily, uh, it's like this content management system or something, it's called like that, CMS. And uh, it's used to publish online. So it's it's relatively simple to use, yeah. Yeah, but I was thinking maybe uh, with something so simple, uh, then it's easy to find uh, solutions. I don't know, because, for example, if uh, I, I'm not sure if uh, you can um, upload this kind of file on uh, Mintbase. I'm just thinking it now, so I'm not sure. No. Okay, no, no. but maybe it's something that we just need to figure out uh, also with them because uh, I, I, I mean, can ask my editor because he has edited, he is an expert on digital uh, publishing and there is one format that they use for this and I don't remember the name right now but it's a format that they use that is like a standard for all kinds and so that when they use that I am assuming that you can read it in different readers you, you know it, it's so it's kind of compatible to Maybe it's phone compatible, Kindle compatible, and it has a name, but I don't remember the name right now. Mm -hmm. And it's not this markdown, but it's what it's how it actually show how it shows on the screen once you input the thing. I don't remember the name. Yeah, I love books. Uh, I love the paper. So I mean, mm -hmm. I, I would like to have this opportunity also. But uh, maybe we just can go on with uh, this uh, investigation and uh, and let's come out some ideas because maybe there is a, already something or maybe uh, I don't know there is <laughs> an option to develop uh, to um, get connected because uh, I think many people are thinking about uh, but. Uh, almost like us as far as i know and uh, but uh, we still need to um, yeah. to search yeah. yeah i mean there are many options there are many many options but um also i think that all in in the world of nfts this is something that's going to happen more and more because we, people are already starting to do it publishing uh and so I think it's the next, uh, it's a little bit like with the art thing, you know, like it, it has some very one, like practical advantages for publishers, but at the same time in the traditional model, they're very afraid that they lose control over, over the content. No? Uh, this yeah. is, but this uh, is uh, something that uh, in fact, I don't think is so bad. Because let's say um, it's like we're we don't have to forget that we are using a lot of open source uh, tools. Mm -hmm. So it's like I feel like it's giving back something. I mean, if uh, mm -hmm. it's like a fear we have, 
Oh, yes. So what's the yeah. problem? You, you, I think if you feel you want to pay or maybe you want to read first or whatever, I mean, yes, totally. I, I, want, I want to be faithful in this. Uh, and, uh, and, and then and probably, I mean, also uh, in data, there is all this uh, invisible economy ready to <laughs> to We say burn, be, uh, burn, no, burn. <laughs> no, sure. Say. What is that? The, the um, verbal, uh, I don't know. In <laughs> nascere, Italian. nascere, nascere. To be born. born. To be born. To be mm -hmm. born. Okay. To uh, be. Or to be. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, to be born. Uh, yes. So I think there are so many things that can change. Uh, so yes. we are yes. just... Uh, Uh, I was uh, giving this uh, example this morning, like uh, it's like we are uh, on the waves of the ocean, like surfing and everything is moving and everything is always new, mm -hmm. but we, are, we have also the beach nearby. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's so, exactly right. That's exactly okay. right. It's okay. I don't feel I like um the more Brown. the more I tell this, the more I feel like I want to go to the sea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, this is this has been great. I hope like it's helpful and I'll you know, of course I'll be happy to to share uh anything if you need uh from our because my this guy wants to do it, he's moving pretty fast, so Supposedly, we're going to do it very soon, so um, I will, uh, you know, I'll, I'll have some experiences to, to share with you. And maybe, Judy, if you like, I have uh, some uh, picture from Scar Kisses that maybe need the story. If you like to browse uh, through the picture and see oh, sure. if, if you like to write something, maybe. Oh, be... but yeah, yeah, sure, send it to me. Actually, I'm, I, he, he wants me to write another book and I'm like, mm, you know, like, <laughs> you know, I don't know. I'm very lost right now. I don't know exactly what to do. Something like that could be, you know, always is super good for opening the imagination. Do send it to me. I, I, I would yeah. and also, not even if I, it, it's unrelated to the book, but, but that kind of thing just gets you. Yeah. Gets you started. Yeah. And, uh, I, would love to, I would love to. Yeah. I, I can tell you that to me, uh, writing, it means that maybe you just write three words. I mean, oh, I really I mean, don't it, care. I want, I would like to see whatever. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not about quantity, it really is about, uh, actually, it's exactly not about quantity. I think it's about quality of, of, of expression no yeah, just to say, as in any creative uh, form but um scusate I, io vi saluto devo andare ho figli che chiamano conigli nuovi <laughs> we have just received some rabbit oh yeah i i understand i understood conigli conigli, conigli. Sì. and i have to go so thank you yeah. for the <laughs> Thank Grazie. you, thank you so much. Me, I'm, I have to go too because I'm speaking to this guy in 15 minutes. But um, but yeah, I'll, I'll see what he has to say today. And and uh, if there's any breakthroughs or stuff, I'll, I'll of course like I'll, I'll share them with you. And send me that thing. I would love to write a little something. Yes, I'm also. Ah, uh, oh, I didn't told you, but. Uh, I'm recording anyway because uh, I think well, that's just great. in case uh, is needed. Uh, uh, I don't have this Google Meet uh, option to record, but I'm recording with another app. Oh, okay. uh, so okay. it's just to if we need to go back to the registration. Well, sure, well. and actually, the were you in the session where? No, I don't know. Like we had a session with with ah no no no. I, I uh, we actually had a session with Lenara where he based she Lenara gives this uh, mint based tutorials. So uh, I took one which was very helpful, and then I I told him she she does them 
supposedly every week on Tuesdays. And, uh, and so we had a tutorial with him and she explained everything and took us through. So that's why I felt that like, but I, we had a session with him actually that I recorded where I think the name of that, uh, that digital uh, format for, for like that's that digital standard he names it so I can look through it or or even like share it with you because I I think that uh, you know there may be some information there that can be useful yeah of course now we are building and all that I take I, I put into the documents so uh, because uh, we're doing a lot of things at the same time so it's like uh, maybe we're a little slow but uh, in uh, different uh, documents yeah are... <laughs> yeah yeah it, it all you know it moves it moves at the pace like sometimes it picks up and sometimes it's just more like i think everything is super simple and then it's just the technical things that the you know like all the little restrictions or things that one has to think about and the contracts and blah 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 or like you know formats but the rest is kind of like it's not difficult to think about yeah i love it's, this because uh, i mean i'm i'm like uh, uh i always thought about the, like why we are doing this and we are doing this with this rule i don't like this rule i want to do <laughs> new rules and now i'm here in crypto i feel like wow i'm at home yeah, <laughs> because yeah. i like to play i don't like really i, I mean wow well, i don't i i always say why do it so serious i mean you're so serious mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I mean i don't care <laughs> like no. my, my pricing like from 0 0.0002 thousand I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> you never know. It's so crazy anyway. People are crazy. So it's worth playing. Uh, and you, you know, you, you know it's also worth. I want to say tell you just one thing that I noticed and I keeping notice here in, in the street. Like here at the road in Switzerland is very full of lines and roads uh, and um, cartello. I would say the, oh, yes, yes, the yes, signal yes. are Thanks. so many that you really. And what happened is like the each rules they they put more. Uh, you feel like you you are hang you feel like uh, you are permitted to be angry with the people that don't follow the rules but they are mm -hmm. stupid rules because uh, you you are going to to look at the line and you don't look at the other cars the other uh, bikes and whatever that you can really look at the things that moves and not at the at these lines yeah. i mean and, and but you're you like um you can be angry so you end up do uh, a little travel 10 minutes and you are angry and you are screaming to somebody and I, I felt like this is a problem of rules too many i mean yeah uh, good ones is okay but like <laughs> see like this is like yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and like, i know and like, we come from latin america where it's exactly the opposite it's like freaking uh, absolute anarchy and chaos but but and in some places more than others like i thought mexico was bad and then i went to venezuela and i was like oh my god i mean like zero lines zero lights zero rules and if there are rules nobody listens to them no i mean it's just insane so you're angry at the people who don't follow the rules because they could kill you actually but but uh but it's this kind of thing where where yeah you know usual the problem with rules is that they tend to be not nuanced you know rules is you can't do this or you can do this but there's very hard to find like the gray middle right so for instance here in new york Right now, it's complete anarchy because they don't have a budget and the police have decided that they don't want to, you know, they don't want to, they don't want to police. And they're punishing us for saying that Black Lives Matter or whatever. And and so 
people are just not following the rules in very, very, like, they go, like, they do things like bike on the wrong lane or just all kinds of things that are actually a bit dangerous and very, they're very, what is happening is that people are very inconsiderate, you know, like, they've been one year and a half, they were in their house, and now they go out and they think they have a right to be incredibly rude and inconsiderate and, and even dangerous. And But there, then there's these idiotic rules like you can't drink in a park. And I'm like, we're adults. We're just, you know, like, why? Why can't we have like a nice glass of wine in a park? It's like, it's infantile, but it's that. So it's not like, the, then there are other rules and and it's it's either all of them or none of them. You know, it's not like, okay, I'll, I'll let you drink wine in a park, but I won't let the skateboarders run all over you. I mean, they let the skateboarders do it, but I cannot have a glass of wine. So shit like that, you know, the, the dog cannot be on the grass. Like, you, I understand dogs pee on the grass, it's bad, but, but it, it's like, and so of course, you know, there's a lady who, who persecutes me and uh, uh, because Petra, who is blind, you know, she likes to pee in like this plant or whatever. And there's this crazy woman. I, I, you know, I know this is her obsession. Her obsession is to tell people what to do and what not to do. She goes through life, people she doesn't know, she will cross the street to tell me what are you doing with your dog? And she's very rude. So I am also very rude back to her, but because this is New York. But but um, but it's like, why are you, who told you? It's this kind, it's crazy, you know, but it's what you say. People get self-righteous and they go, I'm going to be an enforcer of the rules. I mean, I, you know, I try yeah. to do it when I feel that they're going to run me over. But other than that, what can I say? Anyway, I'm so sorry. This is this is a great conversation, even though it doesn't have a lot to do with uh, with books or NFTs. But but um, I have to talk to this guy. So it's really good luck with the project. Send me that thing, and Thursday, I love you. Bye. I love you too. Bye. <laughs> Thanks. Awesome. <laughs> Bye, Thursday. <laughs> Speriamo che non sia una rivoluzione brutta, magari una rivoluzione bella. <ride>